Welcome to the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast, a show that examines all aspects of sexuality, from physical to emotional to spiritual. Join our hosts as they discuss age-old questions, common misconceptions, and the latest topics surrounding sex. They'll tackle topics about sexuality from the complicated to the hilarious and everything in between. GSMC Sex Podcast is your show for all of your questions about sex, even some you might not have thought of yet. into the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Andra, where the topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Happy New Year, all of you sex fiends out there. I hope you ring it in with some good, hearty sex and overall amazing orgasms. And seeing as we were off, I am going to talk about a sexier new year. That's our topic today, sex and the new year and winter sex and what we can be doing or should be doing, shall I say. So let's continue the new year party and start it off. You know, we all have New Year's resolutions. I know right now it's kind of difficult with the COVID-19 pandemic out there. And traveling is quite difficult. So we kind of sort of have to tweak a New Year's resolution in order to it, for it to, you know, basically fit what our present situation is. Um, Although I must say, driving through the streets this year on Christmas and New Year's was really spiritually Christmassy and all of that because it showed so many individual homes that were lit up and how uh, everybody was feeling this, this COVID right now. But more houses were lit up, so it was awesome. That means they were enjoying their Christmas and making the best that they could with what was going on, what is going on. So I know that, you know, you make New Year's resolutions either in the bedroom or out of the bedroom. It doesn't matter where. As long as that New Year's resolution is somewhat... You know, adhere to, because we know when we get to New Year's, we usually say, oh, I'm going to do this, and this is my New Year's resolution, and then about eh, a month in, we've all just placed it aside. <laughs> Maybe this time we can all stand by it. But let's go through some romance-related New Year's resolutions that could be or probably have been made. You know, you should always have these things that keeps you in a positive uh, outlook, regardless of the facts of how far or how not done they are. But having that and being able to say that, you know, you had that New Year's resolution is very, very good. So, obviously, the first thing off the list when it comes to sex and having better sex as a New Year's resolution is get tested. You know, granted, we are sitting in the house, but a lot of STDs or STIs, as they are now called, are asystematic, meaning that you can 
have it in your system. You could be the one with it. And it didn't have to be transmitted to you. Your body just produced it. And you're the, you know, you're passing it along and have no idea. So get tested. And, um, you know, get out there and talk to your partner or your perspective, your perspective partner about also being tested as well. It also protects you, protects your partner and makes sex all that much better when you know for a fact that you are a okay. Um, never hurts just to get tested, even though you'd say, oh, I was tested. <laughs> never hurts. Limber up. Because we have been sitting in front of a computer for long hours or the TV, especially since we can't really do much with regards to COVID. Start, you know, working out right then and there. And because uh, a lot of us are working from home out there. I know you are, which is very good because that just, you know, keeps you working and you don't, you know, don't have to worry for the most part, which is a plus. But there are those out there who are not that lucky. So their bodies are not prepared for new sex or crazy sex. I think they just sit there. So get up and start making that commitment and doing those exercises right there in the home. If you're working from home, do them while you're doing your work. There are exercises that you can do when you just are sitting down. So stay loose with some simple stretches. This also promotes good circulation, which is what we need in our genitals to have awesome orgasms. So remember, keep your body going um there are a couple of yoga poses that are really good that, and they're really short and there are little exercises that are really like you can just sit there and be doing while you're sitting there so look them up and get them started do it before you go uh to go sit at that computer for working at home and teleworking as it's called and it keeps you limber your muscles need to be limber and it gets your blood flowing and you can also strengthen those pelvic walls at the same time. So you can do the pelvic walls and another part of the body staying limber at the same time. So I hope all, uh, all the ladies out there, or men, doesn't make a difference, uh, asked for the Kegel balls for Christmas gifts. Said you immediately took them out and are, uh, you know, flexing that pelvic wall now. Now, number three is lube up. Lubrication, people. Um, obviously, you use lube either alone or with a partner. Uh, keeping a bottle by your bedside is very, very good. Or, you know, somewhere else in the home where you know you're going to be having sex continually. <laughs> um, now, really, applying lubrication you know it can instantly just add a new dimension to sex because it, i mean granted women have their own lubrication built in but lube adds that little bit of more and it may be a little bit um more slippery or not but it gives that little added because it's made for that a little bit more added ease and ability of the thrusting and you don't need a lot, obviously. You have condoms. Who knows if you use them yet. Um, sex toys. If you're doing them all by yourself. So you need the loop for those. Every so often. You know, condoms do get dry. Get a new one and add a little bit of lubrication on that. Who's to say? But those sex toys. Use that lube. Um, obviously. Let go of that goal that you have for 2021 this year and go to bed with somebody. Just do it. If you don't have a partner, and it's been very difficult to meet people, I know that um, 
online dating is not for everyone, but get a casual hookup. You know, without a goal, you know, usual goal being for this is for you to have an awesome orgasm. Uh, you can just be close. Get all those uh, love and lust endorphins are flowing. Yeah, yep. They told you sex does the body good, and it's very, very good for you. And just if something comes out of it, something comes out of it. If you're doing it alone, well, then you don't have that issue. But you know, every so often, doing it too much alone gets to that point where that becomes boring as well. If you want to do it before you're having sex with somebody, well, there you go. Helps you to get uh, your next orgasm a little longer in the bed. Because the second one always takes longer. You know, if this is your New Year's resolution to have sexual activity, well, here you go. You know, get having sex is one thing, but... There's a lot of stuff that comes with that, which you all know. And one big thing is intimacy. Um, now, if you're just going out there and it's just sex without that, you know, intimacy or anything else, this usually always hinders you as an individual from achieving the, you know, that sexual goal. Because there's a lot of stress that's added overall to the situation although de-stressing during sex is good as well but find ways in which you can de-stress yourself before having sex with somebody um now going to bed with someone just isn't a quaint way of you know describing sex Going to bed and exploring each other's wants or simply being close is a great, an, an absolute fun way uh, for sex and getting that added intimacy that you're looking for. It helps you to rediscover what that initial attraction was. And this is obviously geared towards those long-term partners. But if you want that long-term partner, hey, you know, try these and work toward them. And it could work in that long-term partner. You know, who's to say? So, that is our New Year's resolution for the lovely uh, New Year. But... Now, you know, how do you have a sex in your year? Granted, it, you know, it is considered New Year's Eve, but New Year that doesn't get stuck. Or well, doesn't suck, shall I say. It does not suck. Well, obviously we all know that New York City was quite a bear in Times Square with the ball, where there was no ball at all, due to our lovely social distancing laws at the moment. I mean, you gotta hand it to them, they're trying to make it stop. I don't think they're doing a very good job of it, but all in all, if they had did this in the beginning, which they knew about COVID, it might have been a different situation now. Besides that, so, now obviously, everybody just getting through Christmas and getting to New Year's Eve was exhausted. But, everybody, or at least a good amount of people, that anticipation and having sex directly right on New Year's was actually probably a goal for some people. Um... You know, you want to be with somebody on that day where you're, it's going to be that big giant, oh my God, orgasm and blowout. 
that you could probably plan for it. But there were some, you know, some things that can be done or can still be done because we are in the new year. It has basically just begun. And we want to make this year a better year uh, aside from 2020 uh, in the way that we have been forced to live. Granted, we did start this new year out in the same direction. Uh, yes, there is a vaccine out there. It could go either way because it's basically still in its testing stages and it was really too quick of a put together from my point of view. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but I think a lot of people do. So, uh, I don't, I mean, and if it does work, oh, more power to it. But due to this particular virus being able to mutate the way it does now, it's going to be very hard to basically stick with one. But we want to continue to have good sex. So that's what we're going to have and have an awesome orgasm. I know we have to rediscover ourselves sexually during this time. So why not make it a fulfilling self-identification? So on that note, I am going to take the first break in the show. So go get a drink, go get a snack. And I will meet you back here in a little comfy position with more sex talk with Andre as we continue to talk about how to have awesome um, New Year's sex and all of that good stuff that comes along with it because we have 363 days to fulfill. Still on the search of that one true love? On the limbo in this crazy world of dating, marriage, relationships. Well, listen to the Golden State Media Concepts Relationship Podcast. Your one-stop podcast for everything about relationships. Thank you for tuning in to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Andra, with a topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Welcome back. I hope we're all comfortable and all cozied up, with or without a partner, with or without a toy, with or without our hands down our pants. And you know who you are because we are discussing sex in the new year. Yay! I know because it is a little strange and involved having like all this sex or having no sex or laying off from sex due to COVID, but in being in home teleworking. But you can have some good fun. So don't ever forget that. So let's get it started. Which do not suck nights of sex in the new year. First is a night in my, myself, and maybe a vibrator. You know, obviously after going crazy through Christmas, even though it was a little quieter this year, but we still were a little frazzled with Christmas shopping and still doing end of um, last minute Christmas shopping on that lovely Christmas Eve before the stores were closed. A lot of people just want to sit and take New Year's 
and relax at home with their family away from socializing but for those of you who still wanted to socialize make it live you know easy on the socializing especially since covid is still rampant through our society uh, and through the united states um you know you just want to have maybe the neighbors come over or something obviously if it's just you or your partner or whatever you know take out that favorite sex toy do something new with your partner tie up your partner Get a little lingerie party going. You know, think of something that is going to be out there. I mean, they do have those lingerie parties um, that are out there, which everybody loves. And the women just enjoy doing. Uh, Men are a little weird about it. But they'll give you their... uh, partners or wives money so that they can buy stuff just so that they could use it so it is it's got a double sword (laughs) effect but it still works um you know you can get out your onesies and wear your onesies which hey i think everybody has a pair and they are nice and toasty warm but they do have the lumberjack onesies with the butt flap it goes down so easy access you know partner can stick their hand in there hello utilize them the way they should be <laughs> we have a game night we can you know have uh where you know you if you're a, a competitive individual you love challenges and obviously you're unable to get all of that out of your system right now because we're not exactly having any uh, sports leaks or anything in effect right now. You know, do something uh, is in a game that is going to be nostalgic but have that that adult sex twist on it. You can pull out obviously strip poker naked twister twister is always a favorite or well, if you don't know how to play poker pick a card game oh no you might want to take that on because you know that's going to take a while or whatever or you could play monopoly it's those little things obviously without the children wait till they go to sleep for those of you who have it there are a lot of sex apps out there that you can either wanted to try or you can try you know get out there and do that kinky truth or dare which a lot of people already do don't gonna tell you to spend you know play spin the bottle and it do that just don't play with the Ouija board um, these things really taking what you have and spicing them up sexually kind of gives you something new And that's what you're going for here. You're going for that new. It might be where you play the game. Or how you play. You could take Twister. And get sexually, you know, all aroused while you're playing it. Downstairs in the living room or at the kitchen table. And then start taking it. And bringing that Twister uh, needle where you spin to know what colors you're going to put on. You could actually change all that. Put probably sexual parts or things to do sexually to your partner and when you get on that you can start doing it up the stairs to the bedroom or if you're already in the bedroom there you go you got the perfect spot for it put a twist on it you know but make sure it's not the kids twister that they're gonna get tomorrow morning get one for yourself and change it right in what you want to do mixology contests Obviously, we know what this is. This is a beverages or our beverages, whether alcohol, alcoholic or not. Um, you want to, you know, make up aphrodisiacs, your own type of aphrodisiacs. Maybe you know that these two um, drinks are known aphrodisiacs and you mix them together with a 
something else. Uh, obviously, alcohol is probably the first thing that's going to come to mind due to the fact that it was New Year's or it is still the New Year's and some people are still celebrating. So if you're going to use that, a lot of people, alcohol has different effects on them. You know, you might get them where they're extremely, uh, it turns them on. Other at times, it will knock people right out and go to sleep and you're as dry as a bone. Heaven only knows. It all depends on what it is. But there are those aphrodisiac drinks out there. So find a way to put your own twist on those. Now, you know, this is a real, you, you could take that and host a, a mixing contest to see who could make the best aphrodisiac drink or the best drink that's going to get you so sexually aroused. Uh, and it will build up this little tension and um, everything. This little uh, competition, I mean, and challenge builds up that sexual te tension between you, between your friends, between whoever. Don't, you know, whoever is there for you. Uh, and, you know, if you happen to get together with some friends and you're trying to match me up to friends together as their new, you know, this is what they need for each other, as some people do, play matchmaker. This might be a very good way to do this, you know, and make the drinks where they're all, they have sexual names. Like, we already know about the, the slippery nipple or the blowjob uh, shot. We know all these things. Find out what some of them are out there and make up your own sexual name for a drink as you mix it up. Um, obviously, you can do body shots, and but with your special concoction, you know, your sexual drink. So do have a little bit of competitive and challenging fun. It's always good to let loose with your orgasm after. End of the world parties. Oh, uh, you generally all know what those are, where we just throw that so explosive party like there is no tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's a little bit different right now, but you know, try to have things already set up in place if you are going to party hardy like have an uber on speed dial not to let people drive home drunk or just make it where they can just crash at your house but out in the morning so they can you know sleep off a bit of that hangover not that lovely drink that you concocted in your first competition so remember that um Obviously, a night out with a uh, the Illuminati ball. Now, this there's a um, New Year's event that's generally organized by uh, an artist who claims to be the Illuminati, the gatekeeper. It's generally over 800 guests who want to bring the sexy back to New York City or anywhere that you want to have it. Now, it is too funny because it's focused around, this event is really focused around teasing. Now, it's to get people to uh, have a chance to let down their hair and indulge in your intimacies. You know, your it's really scant, uh, scantily, scantily <laughs> dressed, you know, fire breathers, guests in masks, and, you know, eating dessert off somebody else's body. You know, it's a place where you can just have your dessert needed to. So if you ate that dessert off someone, you're you know, you want to do, hey, at this party, or kind of party, 
you can have the sex as well hell have the sex while you're eating the food off of that person who's to say um it's been very uh this particular host has been very very successful in um with immersive experiences and is uh really the reason why they're held is because they want individuals to have that life-changing experience and it has been very successful and the person who generally puts these together but you can do your own is cynthia von baller buddha um so but you know you don't need somebody else to host that party although it is fun to give you somewhere to go but due to covid you can really host your own and you know put some limits on it put no limits on it make sure everything is discussed and communicated and what the expectations are at that moment in time you are all consulting I mean, consulting consenting adults remember that but you need to uh, feel comfortable with what you're doing as well now obviously a lot of people love doing the pro, uh, pub brawl on new year's eve unfortunately um i don't think that was available this year so try making up your own pub crawl right in your neighborhood if you have that neighborhood where all the neighbors know each other you're all on the same level all the kids go to school together or you know whatever the case may be or you don't have kids they have kids what whatever the situation is you can do a quasi buff crawl, uh, pub crawl at each neighbor's house make sure that uh, children are either all having a sleepover somewhere maybe at the grandparents or whatever but or they are all sleeping please if you do have children please be considerate so you set up each home as a bar and each home is going to have this each each of your neighbors are going to have something different and with this you can take it where each place is sexually different and do it that way so by the time you get back to your particular house you are going to be so sexually aroused and want to just jump your partner or pull out that toy or sex doll and just go to town so i mean and you can go to, i mean look, liquor stores were open so you could buy your liquor and it doesn't mean that you had to do it on new year's eve which is the best time to do it you can have it now this is new year's the first weekend in new year's so i'm hoping you are still living it out because most people did take um the thursday the friday saturday and today or or if they already had the weekend off they took off the uh, friday, thursday and friday so you had that long weekend now another way is when you're going to be enjoying your new year explore a new city i don't think you need to know all about that or you did need to be told all about that because you already do that i'm assured but try switching it up with doing explore a new sexual adventure and maybe taking it if you always wanted to go to i don't know egypt to see the pyramids how about set up the house that way and this is your sexual adventure play it out and and this is the best way to do it when you are home but you've got not just the bedroom the whole house and maybe go out and get those outfits and find out what they do sexually and play out their sexual uh, activities in your adventure there is a lot of ways to do this obviously you can always try attempt to try the mile high club problem with that is not a lot of you gotta go through a heck of a lot to be able to even fly now so on that note we are going to take a break in the show so replenish that drink 
replenish that snack or not, but do remain comfortable and keep those hands moving or that toy. And I will meet you back here for more sex talk with Andra. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. for tuning in to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Andra, where the topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Welcome back, and I hope we are comfortable, either almost ready to blow, or just fondling a little. Because we are talking sex here, and New Year's sex at that. So, we all want that. And when, around this time of the year, Christmas, you know, November through whatever, what, February, March, even some portions of April, we are in the winter months. And obviously, this affects your sex life. Don't think that it doesn't. Obviously, what we love to do in the winter is get cozied up with that nice fluffy blanket with our nice fluffy house coat or onesie, whatever it may be. And, you know, going from there and just being nice and toasty warm with that, you know, throw your hair up, ladies, in that messy bun, which has become a fashion statement, of course. Not just getting comfortable, you know, probably brushing your teeth and just having, you know, sitting by the TV with a nice hot cup of cuckoo or a nice drink of glass of wine, whichever you prefer. You might want to get dressed up and lay on that couch and watch TV or just relax in total silence with just candles lit. But nevertheless, what is going outside, on outside, in the weather, is very cold you know it's beautiful to watch it come down and when you know there might be some people out there who once you see the snow coming down turns you completely on and sex you know get totally sexually aroused and you go for it just have so much fun um now it's it's really weird because they actually did studies regarding the seasonal effects on sensuality. And it's, believe it or not, they found that winter is when uh, all of us start getting a little hot under the collar because we're stuck. Um, and we're pulling out those big old jackets and everything, which is kind of fun that you can make sexually as well. Think about it. You're putting on layers to go outside to do whatever it is that you have to do. When that person comes back, they're nice and toast, you know, nice and cold, and it's all into that nice toasty house. It's just you and them. Start like undressing them at the door. 
make that trail of clothing, winter clothing, up to the bedroom. So, uh, it is, they call it the cuffing season. <laughs> uh, and generally more sex is being had during the winter season. Now, they looked at the, you know, looked at the nippy weather numbers, as they are called. The most common shared birthday is September 16th. Believe it or not. So what does this mean? Obviously, those little September babies were conceived in December, the winter months, closing up in that bed, having some hot sex to keep you warm. You know, uh, obviously this isn't anything that's going to uphold this, but you always get more sexual encounters in the winter as opposed to in the summer. A lot of people don't want to be uh, bothered in the summer because it's way too hot. Unless you like it really, really wet, sweaty, and slippery, go for it. Uh, gets a little out of hand. <laughs> But, you know, there is that increase in that, that time. You also, they also found that there's a jump in sales of condoms during the winter. Believe it or not, they get twice as many sold the week before Christmas. And this is really before, then after the week, which leads up to New Year's. But they may be just, you know, stocking up because they know they probably can't get any or what stores are going to be open or close so they're stocking up but the holiday obviously holiday in christmas holiday is that seeing the joy on your partner's face or seeing the joy on their face when you give them their present is a total turn on for a lot of people and making them happy and how the how do you want to help each other or celebrate that happy a little pop in the set you know, you might have bought something that is just for that, and you tell that. Well, if you have any kids, you're all set. You can open it right then and there. But you tell that partner, I have a special one for you in the bedroom. Come on. Now, for the women, obviously, winter is when we feel our sexiest. Uh, and there was actually a study called the Polish study that actually confirmed this. And it's because we like to get dressed up in our little love suits or our little Christmas Santa suits, as scandally clad as they are. <laughs> um, and it's, it's been known through this study that men find women more attractive in winter than in the summer months. Um, it might be that the increased, uh, coverage of our skin, like we have more clothes on in the winter and they're trying to figure out, you know, what the heck we look like, but that imagination is going crazy and it drives them crazy. That's why they weren't, um, attracted to women in the winter In the summer women wear spaghetti strapped sundresses or take out the most Gimpiest bathing suit just to keep warm and keep cold um, and cool. So they can already see what's there. They don't have to let their imagination run free to figure out what you look like underneath that bathing suit because it's not really much there. Um, so they can make a decision, as men do, with their one eyed really. Now, Season specific sex drive suppressors? Well, there are those. Um, there are winter specific situations that really do not necessarily lend themselves to that extended section under the mistletoe. It might just be that pack and leave. Um, obviously, we have holiday stress. Um, not to mention, oh, the stress that comes with the family visiting Ooh. because each person who comes to the house 
you always have something. Oh, when they come, they're going to do this. Or when they come, they always argue with this relative or that, you know, relative. But after they are do, you know, done in that visiting them is all over, you can certainly have that hot, passionate sex after and relieve all that and being happy to be home and just alone with your partner. Now, if you find yourself experiencing a cold climate sexual upswing, here are a few ideas that you can do. Obviously, on the ch the chillier evenings, you can make it a perfect time to spend uh, with your partner alone to get closer with a sensual massage or um, where you're using those massage oils or candles and you're getting really close. Obviously, your partner is getting turned on as you are. You can add a little bit of a tease in there by just putting the head of your penis in and then pulling it out and continue with that massage and doing little things like that. Um, obviously, as I get extremely hot, unable to handle obviously go and maybe get um there are those couple of vibrators out there or get some toys where you can just use right then in there but don't be afraid of letting your little winter sexy out you could put on some music and have music like there are specific music songs that are really uh get your sexy going so let's get move right along on to those um obviously only the top 10 are going to be listed here or if there's more i'll give you more <laughs> obviously there are all those Christmas songs that we look forward to hearing when Christmas season is in full bloom. But you could take those Christmas songs, bring them into the new year, because you remember how you felt and what you did while you were listening to those songs. So you can totally, totally get in the, the passion and the heat of Christmas with the Christmas songs around Christmas. But you can also take those into the new year with you because obviously you got laid or you were totally turned on by that or got your sexy on as Justin Timberlake, 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 I always say his name wrong, but we all know what I'm talking about and bring them in to now and you can bring them out when you want them obviously you have no control over the radio but to turn it off and on during the christmas season but let's go with number one artist christmas baby please come home by michael buble now we all know the sultry voice of michael buble his voice alone is enough to turn you on so if you want to listen to any of his music just listen to it it doesn't really have to be that christmas song but if you were listening to that christmas song when you were you hit that awesome orgasm over the christmas we then please do this so listen it again now there is like a point in here Oh, we're in the song, believe it or not, where you, where he says, oh, baby, you know I need you. Oh, coming home, I gotta have you. You know I need you. Come on. We all know what that means. I don't have to spell that one out. Um, but he is, he's got that voice that i mean there are a lot of people out there you know singers who can do it but michael bobley Boble has just been one of the top on the list in this area going on 
It Snowed by Megan Smith. The words in that song, it snowed, it snowed, it snowed last night. Everything is sparkling with diamond light. The road is bare, it's four feet high. Honey, let's play hooky because it snowed last night. Well, there are two ways to use this. If you're going to give her a diamond on Christmas, and you did that, and then, we know it snowed last night. So take it to the bedroom. It's very, it's considered a perfectly playful tune. And it's to recapture some of the wonder uh, that a lot of people have after the big first snow. And we did get hit with a snowstorm here on the East Coast. Uh, not one that, you know, I think we were really expecting. Although it said it was going to snow, I didn't expect it to do it that much. <laughs> but hey, it did snow. So, next one is I've Got My Love to Keep Me Warm by K-Star. Now, this is a pretty old song. And in her song, the chorus is off with my overcoat. There's that extra layer. Off with my gloves. Who needs an overcoat? I'm burning with love. My heart's on fire and the flame grows higher. So I will weather this storm. What do I care how much it may storm? I've got my love to keep me warm. Oh, that just interacted with on so many levels of uh, those extra levels and the man being more sexually attractive to women or with that imagination of figuring out what they look like. She's taking out. You can play that even when it snows again or if you are coming home. It is chilly out there so you've got to come home with uh, layers that you are putting on. So you can play that. Dig it out. Look it up. Download it. Stream it. But do bring it out. On that note, we are going to take the last break in the show. So do finish up what you are doing. Maybe you're right there at the peak. So go for it. And then do get some light refreshment. And I will meet you back here for more Sex Talk with Andra. Are you tired of the same old news? Are you sick of the seemingly endless political spin and negativity? The GSMC America Still Beautiful podcast is a weekly news podcast covering all the top positive and uplifting news stories. We cover stories that will inspire, uplift, and remind you of the good in the world. Tune into the Golden State Media Concepts America Still Beautiful podcast to get all the great and positive news stories of today. Download the GSMC America Still Beautiful podcast on iTunes. Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type GSMC in the search bar. Thank you for tuning into the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Andra, with the topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Now, thank you for tuning into the last portion in our show today, where we are talking about those winter sex songs that will get you all toasty warm and horny. Um, and we left off with Kay Smith. I've got my love to keep me warm. However, a lot of people will, you know, like Ella Fitzgerald, which she has an awesome voice and great music. Dean Martin, Bing Crosby. Oh, you you know, if you're not into the oldies, but uh, goodies or the the traditional Christmas songs, move it up a little bit. But hey, they are to keep those winter nights, winter cold nights, nights, and warm and cozy. 
and moving right along is Boys to Men with Let It Snow. Now, there have been a lot of renditions of this song and Boys to Men. If For those of you who do remember that group that came out, Boston Natives on the East Coast uh, in the 80s, 90s, hopefully the 90s. You you know, they were uh, a, a big, big R&B band. Well, uh, quartet, you want to call them? They were four. They were, yeah, there were four of them. <laughs> but Let It Snow is an all-time favorite. Anyway, that it is redone. But a lot of people love to hear different versions. And Boys to Men is one of them. And in the song it goes, oh, come over here and help me trim the tree. I want to wrap you up, baby. Then you'll see. You're the only present I need. So basically, ladies or men, whatever your partner preference is, get dressed up as that Christmas present. After you've put all yours under the tree for the next day, go to sleep under there with a bed of so he can, he or she can unwrap you. And it was 90s. So, now that I think about it, it was the 90s. And it is, a, it's considered a sensual slow jam. Um, but, it doesn't have to be that sensual slow jam to turn you on. It's just basically what gets you in the mood. Now, everybody knows Eartha Kitt in her sultry, really crisp voice. I love her, love her. And she sings Santa Baby. And we all know which one. Uh, all the guys like, obviously, Betty Boo. But, you know, he has in Santa Baby, if you know the words well, you know, think of all the fun I've missed. Think of all the fellas that I haven't kissed. Next year, I could be just good if you'll check off, check off my Christmas list. So she's like just pulling you in. This one was from the 1950s, 1953 to be exact. And it has been remade by so many artists. Mariah Carey, Taylor Swift. Uh, there are so many different voice tones that comes with it in every different rendition of it. So pick what you want to hear. But her Eartha Kitt's voice is it is effortless and it's so sexy. And, you know, it doesn't have that cutesiness to it. And it it really makes you uh, be that adult. Yeah, I mean, it's found to be the perfect uh, strip T strong song. So look it up, the original. And the next one down on our list is again. There's that name, Ella Fitzgerald's Santa Claus got in my chimney. Uh, the title alone lets you know, hey guys, your penis is the chimney. Well, actually, hers is the chimney and he's Santa Claus. So, now the words that come with that title, uh, there he was in, uh, in middle of the chimney, roly-poly, fat and round. You could just change the words up a little there. There he was in the middle of the chimney, not quite up and not quite down. Ooh, the tease. That foreplay is working. Santa, please come back to my chimney. Back to my chimney, back. Just saying the words alone and letting your imagination run free sexually is utterly amazing. So take those words. That's Ella Fitzgerald's. All the older songs are really, really cool. Uh, and 
you know, use them. I mean, they're not, I have to say, the renditions of them that have been remade in, throughout the ages have been good. But when you go back to the originals, there's nothing like an original. So, And it's really, really a, a, a good song. And obviously, if you're well equipped in the Santa department, the chimney will be well filled with all types of goodies. Now, well, we're moving on still back in the early days. I know what you want for Christmas. Uh, and this one's by Kay Martin and her body cuts. Obviously, this is a, a very old song. But some of the words are... I want to wrap it up for Christmas, but I can't decide just how it's done. It should be in a pretty package, and wrapping it is so much fun. It won't be a surprise. It should be a delight. So, whichever way you want to wrap up that Christmas package, get creative. You might just need a bow. You might want to wrap it up in ribbon all the way to the top. But do remember, be creative. Uh, obviously, when you listen to the words, everybody's mind goes into the gutter, especially since we are talking about sex. But it is a holiday song, and you could take that present and please kink it completely up for with the ribbon uses. Clarence Cotter, another old song. Probably wasn't exactly what they were thinking when they wrote all these songs. But this is where our minds are these days with the sexual openness and that has transpired over the years. And Clarence Cotter has a song called Back door Santa. Come on. Doggy style. I ain't like old Saint Nick. He's already telling you he ain't old Saint Nick. He don't come but once a year. Obviously he, you all come more than that. I come running with my presence every time you call me dear. So whenever you want that sex and come a running. So, you could take those words and turn them around. And, obviously, Santa does come around. Now we are coming close, you know, moving through time here. And we have Merry Christmas Baby by Christina Aguilera. I don't think I need to say much more about her voice. Her voice is so sultry, so strong, so feel good emotion um and obviously merry christmas baby you're you sure look good to me ain't had a taste this morning but i'm all lit up like a christmas tree all right who woke up with the boner this morning every morning it's generally the guy they wait it wakes up you know it wakes up before they do Come on, just roll over on them. Have that little mistletoe in there. Make it up as you want. Plaster it to the headboard or put it right above your head on the wall. Moving on with sultry voices, we have Arianda Grande. And we all know how she has such a strong voice as well. And hers is Santa Tell Me. Santa Tell Me If You're Really There. Don't make me fall in love again. If he won't be here next year, Santa tell me if he really cares. Because I can't give it all away if he won't be here next year. Well, guys, if you're looking to separate, here's someone who actually a song that says, you know, I want to give it all to you. But if you're not going to be there, I'm not going to give it to you. So you might want to find out what you want to do and 
end these things or continue on giving good loving. You know, what did you ask for for Christmas? And this is what it is all about. Giving as well as receiving and give and receive all the same. You must love to give. You must love to receive. And we are in a new year. And so use it. And use it wisely. Because that's what it is all about. Christmas, obviously on those holidays, you get all gushy, gushy, gushy leading up to Christmas, leading up to New Year, uh, New Year's. More Christmas this year than New Year's because we couldn't celebrate the way I'm assured all of us wanted to. Um, but Christmas, when Christmas is here, you know, granted a lot of stuff was bought online, but there were still some people out there just to get that bit of feeling in there. And it is what in how you make it where it could be good, it could be bad. But if you are just in it for that seasonal thing, make sure that you do communicate that and that the expectations are clearly laid out in the plan. Because a lot of people out there just want to have somebody, or, you know, be with somebody for Christmas because they enjoy buying presents for someone but they don't want that long term or that commitment in there so yeah, they want the sex but they don't want everything else that comes along with it who's to say it might change but right now you know you've got to basically you have to put out there the expectations and uh, what you want and don't want or what you're expecting if you get up there and say hey look I enjoy Christmas I love being around uh, people at Christmas having some of my life I can buy for and have it sex with but after Christmas you know there's really not much I'm going to do you might want to get together every so often who's to say wrap up that Christmas present that you don't even have to buy. It is part of your body and you carry it around in your human bodysuit, human pocketbook, human pocket. It's attached. You don't got to worry about it. You just can whip it out when you feel during sex or when you are, you know, in uh, pleasure. So there's where that will come up to. And you want to have endless sex. Like I said, this is the first weekend in the new year. So most people are still probably celebrating. Do celebrate on. And look up some of these songs because that might just be what you long for and on that note we are at the end of the show and I thank you very much please if you're going to try anything new please educate communicate and consent first of all make sure all expectations are laid out between parties also, please practice safe sex, if not for your partner, for yourself, and vice versa. Also, again, I'd like to thank you for tuning into the GSMC Sex Podcast, which was brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. Please click subscribe. Find us out there in the lovely podcast community. Subscribe. Give us a good review. Give me five stars. And it helps both me and GSMC Podcast Network. 
Also, please do seek us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We are out there. Lee, you know, like this. Hit that little heart or that little thumbs up. And if you hold long enough on that thumbs up, there are all different ones that you can put up. Click on that heart. Um, leave, you know, a comment. Tell us what you'd like to hear on the show. And we will try and accommodate, give some ideas. So on that note, again, thank you. Have some great New Year's sex, and particularly tonight, some awesome sex. So go enjoy yourself, because that's what it is all about. Unwrap that present. Goodbye for now. This is Andra signing off. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast, part of the GSNC Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsncpodcast.com. Download our podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type in GSMC to find all of our shows from the GSMC Podcast Network. From sex and relationships to health and wellness, life and happiness, and even weird news. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's episode of the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast.